Let's start with fiscal policy, if we could. We've been having a discussion even this morning around this table about the extent to which if this tax reform package went through in the form it is now, understanding it's an outline, whether it actually would generate growth. With people who know about these things really suggesting not so much, except maybe around the edges with some expensing. Can you, from your experience, say really why this tax reform would generate real growth? I think it would generate some real growth, but not dramatic real growth, because the real issue is how much the government spends, because that's how much resources are allocated to government. And what we've seen over a long period of time, government is less productive than private enterprise. So if you allocate more resources to government, you, you allocate less to the other markets, and that's, that impacts economic activity. So I think there will be some marginal increase, particularly around the corporate tax cut, because we're not corporately tax competitive, and, and that would bring some resources back to the U.S. But it won't be that dramatic because they're not dealing with spending, and spending is really uh, the issue from a, from a resource allocation perspective. Well, as you say, John, so right, I think now, it's a, right now all the discussion is about what we're going to cut and what we're going to spend with estimates of $1.5 trillion up to $6 trillion being invested. So does that mean if you had a choice right now between no tax reform at all and not increasing the deficit and tax reform that increases the deficit substantially, you'd rather do without it? No, I would still have tax reform because what I hope out of the tax reform is that in, in the long term it will encourage more uh, discipline in Congress. In other words, def uh, deficits hopefully at some point will be uh, some discipline on Congress. So, yeah, I, I, And also the psychology right now, I think no tax reform, markets would be very disappointed uh, and there are a lot of people that expect it to generate some growth. So I, I would still take tax reform I, and I think it's still net good. I just don't think it's dramatically as good as if they would deal with both, if they would both cut taxes and deal with the spending 